Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV. Today we are reacting to what if Facebook was a pub. This is Kevin Bridges, the brand new tour. I'm looking forward to this. Our first introduction, he's freaking hilarious. Yeah, he is. Love his accent. It's very, very strong. And I was surprised that I was able to like catch on to the, to the joke <laughs> so fast, but it was very easy I think to a follow lot of people along. People were surprised that yeah. we were able to catch on. But we did, and yeah. it's hilarious. He and is. this was recommended uh, higher than anything else. So this is where we're going next. Mm -hmm. It's up to you guys. Where do we go after this? <laughs> We've got links for Kevin's channel down below. We've got links for this original video. And uh, yeah, go check out our whole comedy playlist so yes, you can you know laugh that. along with us. Yeah, laugh with us. All right, y'all, let's get into this. Let's do it. MSN Messenger. Like, that was the very first <laughs> That was it. That was the original social media, right? And that, that were easier days. Uh, yeah, if somebody asks you to send a photograph of yourself on MSN Messenger, sorry, I don't have a scanner. Right? It was simpler <laughs> time. You never had kids becoming image obsessed because only about 12 photographs of you existed in the 90s. You're not going to send one of them to a girl you're talking to online. Uh, this is me and my dad on a pedalo in Mallorca. <laughs> An hour goes by, only 17% of the photograph has downloaded down the screen. <laughs> Trying to keep the conversation going whilst looking at the top 17% of you and your da. Just don't. <laughs> your wee plastic tube round your neck where you kept your potatoes. Just... <laughs> I'll send the rest later. My mum has to use the house phone. Gosh, how old is Kevin, man? I want to know now. He's got to uh, be around our age because yeah, that's where we grew this. up. Yeah, this all is. All of this rings <laughs> true to me, man. All of it. It was never designed as a habitat where relationships could grow. The internet, right? And you get all these wee dweebs. If they fancy somebody, they can just click like on a few of their pictures or send a direct message. And that is what creates a generation of these wee horned up sex gremlins, these fucking apprentice rapists who are being <laughs> created oh because they have never handled rejection face yeah. to face. They have never received a knockback from point blank range. Right, they've never felt the emotions walking up to the girl that you fancy in a school disco, feeling your heart bursting through your Sergio Tashini polo shirt. <laughs> I'm going to have a fucking clutch here. It's bursting right through. Your cheap, shitty spar hair gel starts running <laughs> into your eyes as you're sweating. Your mouth's dry, there's a cold bit of sweat going down your spine. You feel it trickle right into your arse crack as you're <laughs> advancing on the potential love of your life. And you knew you had fucked it up as soon as you arrived there. The way you were presenting yourself, you knew you had fucked it. But before you knew it, the words were leaving your mouth. Would you get off with me? would slow down. You would hear yourself saying the words. <laughs> Hanging in there for the slight chance that she'll say yes, and it was always no. <laughs> and it was painful, it was humiliating, it crushed you, but you had faced the fear. You, and you never called her a bitch. You respected her decision. You respected yourself. You had conquered the fear. You were getting back in the game. Would any of your friends get off with me? <laughs> you are rising from the ashes like a phoenix here. Listen, if you hear of anybody who wants to get off with me, just spread the word. Big Kev's in the corner, eating a Freddo, drinking a Capri Sun, looking for love. Listen, if you hear of anybody who wants to get off with me, 
Just spread the word. Big Kev's in the corner, eating a Freddo, drinking a Capri Sun, looking for love. <laughs> It. Fuck social media. It's time. The time is up. It's fucking destroying people's lives. Fuck it, right? We need a revolution. Right? Or they at least need to stop calling it social media, in my yeah, opinion. Because right. there's nothing social about it. Right? You don't want to socialise in these places. If, if Facebook... Right, exactly. If, if Facebook yeah. was a pub, you would probably have a look around and go, it's full of pricks in here. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> right? Simple as that. As soon as, you, <laughs> as soon as you view it in those terms, the illusion disappears and it's a lot more straightforward to disconnect. If your Facebook page was a pub, would you sit in a pub? A guy you went to school with trying to sell Herbalife, would you sit in that fucking pub? <laughs> your second cousin who wants to be a blogger and she can only speak to people in inspirational quotations. Would you sit in that fucking pub? Well, guys, I just believe that yesterday is history and tomorrow is a mystery, you know? <laughs> I really believe that. Isn't that such a nice thing to believe? You'd get a fucking jerry can full of petrol and go back and torch that pub. <laughs> You're like... A guy you walk beside whose grand died years ago and he mentions it every time he needs a few likes. No, he's sick. Fuck. No, just having a sad day today, guys. I'm having a really sad day. Uh, I'm just thinking of you, Gran. Uh, I know you're up there, Gran. Hooring out your dead Gran for attention. <laughs> hey, the lowest of the low here. Hey, I know. I've never He's, thought about it like this. He has so broken it true. down so perfectly. What a, this is why I've <laughs> never been able to connect with social media. He's I'm posting right. this, repost it if you're my true friend. Yeah, that's so it's stupid. Like, what? I'm not reposting <laughs> nothing. I'm leaving. You've made me get off all of this now. You've weirded me out. Oh because if God. you were if you were seeing these people in real life and they were saying what they put on social media, yeah, you so wouldn't weird. it wouldn't be the same thing. It would be so awkward. It'd be so freaking weird. Like we don't have. That's just and weird. you have those friends that you do hang out with, and then you see their post on Facebook. Let's You're just, like, I know what's real. I'm like, do you what's, know? Why did you post this? This is not what you talk <laughs> yeah, like in real life. Not. I just saw you ten minutes ago, and then you posted this weird shit. Like what? <laughs> This isn't you at all. Why Not are you so all. fake on here? I know that sounds a bit harsh, but fuck these people. Hey, <laughs> Ron, uh, I know you're up there on a... Uh, every day is another day closer to seeing your face again, Gran. <laughs> and I just want to say, Gran, that I love you and miss you. And I know you're looking down on me, Gran, and I know you're proud of me and everything I'm doing. And I'm so proud of you, and I just, like, until I see your face again, Gran, I just want to say I love you, Gran. <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook, if you're like, going, mate, your Gran never knew how to turn the fucking volume up on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> when she was alive, she never knew how to put the central heating on. But you think she's died, went up to heaven, somebody's presented her with an iPad upon arrival. <laughs> and your gran's done an IT course. You think there's courses in heaven to pass the time since it is eternity. Oh, fuck it, I'll do a six-week IT course. And your gran is asking St. Peter for the Wi-Fi password <laughs> St. Peter, that's on the wall, sweetheart. Paradise, the S is a five. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your grandma. <laughs> Dude, the way that he's smiling through this whole it's bit. It's so cute. He's so <laughs> cheesing. He it's true. And he knows it's so funny, dude. Oh, my God. Give me a quid, or you're getting stabbed. I, <laughs> I remember that one. Or oh, you're getting stopped. I'm gonna say that forever. Big Kev's over here in the corner drinking a Capri Sun, looking for love. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, I can't breathe. Oh, my God. oh I 
love how serious his face gets and then when he cheeses like that's literally the definition of cheesy oh. grin a cheesing grin like you have a shit eating grin on your face and he does it's so he's funny. making eye contact with this guy in the crowd <laughs> this woman in the crowd just having that moment with him both cheesing up oh my gosh it's so oh, funny he's so funny man that he's was hilarious great. and i love 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 when comedians can bring like we talk about them telling stories probably from things that have actually happened in their life and just kind of recreating the it truth. and maybe over exaggerate over exaggerating but when they can bring the truth in there like you can laugh at how ridiculous it is but uh, like he that was totally the truth right there that that was that was so funny oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh like yeah he took it <laughs> in the darkest corners yep. of it too like yep. there are those people who are constantly constantly making posts about their loved ones that have passed yeah and it's like I don't want to see this all the time. Yeah. And it's, Maybe stop and, like, pray or something. Yeah. And, like, speak to them the way that we used to. Yeah. And just talk to them in your head. And alone. Don't have to these yourself. conversations out loud. Yeah. You're only putting it out there. Day. Yeah. You're only putting it out there so you can get attention. That's the only reason for it. And I don't – I'm not apologizing for that. It's like, the truth. Because – they are in the afterlife, and the only way that they can hear you is if you think it, like, or you're, you're saying it. Out loud, yeah. They, they, you've been writing them messages on Facebook for years. They haven't gotten any no, of them. No, they, they don't, don't have, know how to use they it. They don't have Facebook they don't have in heaven. Facebook. God. Oh, my gosh. Just thinking about that premise is so funny. It is really funny. Oh, my gosh. Your grandma didn't even know how to use the air conditioning yeah. when she was here. <laughs> Now she all of a sudden adds an iPad. <laughs> she took a she took a course in technology. Oh my gosh, the way that he told that story was so perfect. <laughs> Going back all the way to oh the MSN gosh. Messenger days, the yeah. hair gel melting down your face into your eyes, everything. So I know you perfect. felt that. That's oh, so I funny. Did. I felt everything he was saying. Man. <laughs> I couldn't imagine being a guy in high school. Props go out to you guys because I feel like it's a lot harder for you guys. You got to get the confidence to go talk to a girl. Then if she rejects you, you got to regroup and you got to do it again and again and again. And just the fact to keep putting yourself out there because I feel like it's a lot easier for women to get dates and get like it may not be easy for certain women i don't know but it's a lot easier for women to get dates than it is for men and that's what i believe it's Dude, like it was like so and so asked so and so out and she said no yeah and then it's like he's walking down and he's like not only is he rejected but he has to hear it from everybody else it. it's yeah. like i'm never asking a girl exactly out, to get that courage again it props go out to all the the men that got the courage again to keep going and you made it this far and you married me and i know that you've been rejected before i'm glad and... that i met you out of high school yeah i would have had no chance inside of high school because <laughs> i was just like i'm not putting myself out there no it's I'm such not a putting scary myself thing out there, dude. it's such a scary i heard thing. what happened to jacob dude He's the laughing stock stock of the school. Yeah, now. Ugh, in order it's to just pick so yourself silly, back up dude. and it's do it so again. Silly. Yeah. And then they're like, Mike, I heard you have a crush on Jess. Is it true? You're like, no. No, I'm not putting that out there. Heck no. <laughs> no I hate her. You're not. What are you talking about? <laughs> you pulling no. my hair on the playground. You think she's cute. No, I don't. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you if I do for it's sure. It's so crazy. You're so scared of rejection. Like. Yeah. Oh gosh. Anyways, that was hilarious. That was so funny. Kevin's hilarious. He is so funny and relatable, too. I love that, too, when you tell stories that are definitely relatable. Yeah. It makes you so much more of, like, a, I don't know, a real person, and I love that. It's yeah. hilarious. All right, what's next, friends? Let us know in the comments below, and uh, hopefully you enjoy that reaction. Thanks for watching with us, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Peace. I'm not scared of your love, so show me.